Hello students, I hope you all are doing well. This is your maths teacher Shweta Vijaj here. I'm back again with chapter 3 playing with numbers. But before starting, please like and subscribe my channel in order to get the video notifications on time. And write your name, class and section in the comment box for attendance. Now students, in the previous video we discussed the divisibility rules of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now in today's video we will discuss the divisibility rule of 11, 12 and 15 and before that firstly we will discuss the question third of exercise 3C. So let's start. Now question number 3 of exercise 3C says that which of the following numbers are divisible by 2, 4 and 8. And I have taken the first part and the first part is 2146. So first of all students I will check the divisibility by 2. Now in 2146 the one digit is 6. The one digit is 6 which is even. Therefore 2146 is divisible by 2. Hopefully, divisibility by 2 is clear to you. Now, next I have checked the divisibility by 4. Now, students, as you know that the divisibility rule of 4 says that the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4. Then the given number is divisible by 4. So, here in this number 2146, the last two digits forms a number 46. Now this 46 is not divisible. Why? Because on dividing this 46 by 4, what I will get? I will get my remainder as 2 which is not equals to 0. Therefore, this 46 is not divisible by 4. Therefore, 2146 is also not divisible by 4. I hope divisibility by 4 is also clear to you. Now, in the last, we will check the divisibility by 8. Now, divisibility rule of 8 says that if the number formed by the last 3 digits is divisible by 8, then the given number is divisible by 8. Now here in this 2146, the last three digits of the number is, number is 146. Now this 146, we will divide this by 8 and on dividing this by 8, this uh, 8 eights are 64. I'm not getting my remainder as 0. I'm getting the remainder as 2. That means this 146 is not divisible by 8. Therefore, this 2146 is also not divisible by 8. Hence, 2146 is divisible by 2 only, but not by 4 and 8. Hopefully, first part is clear to you. Now, next I have taken is the fourth part. In fourth part, the number given to us is 1768. So, first of all, we will check its divisibility by 2. Now, students, in this 1768, the ones digit is 8, which is even. Therefore, 1768 is divisible by 2. Hopefully, it is clear to you. Now, next we will check its divisibility by 4. Now, here in this 1768, the last two digits forms 68. Now, we will check its divisibility by 4 firstly. We will divide the 68 by 4. Now, on dividing the 68 by 4, I will get my remainder as 0. That means the 68 is divisible by 4. Therefore, 1768 is divisible by 4. 
hopefully this is also clear to you now in the last we will check its divisibility by 8 now here in this 1768 the last three digits forms the number 768 now we will divide this number by 8 and check its divisibility now on dividing this by what we will get 8 nines are 72 and on subtracting and on carrying this 48 now 8 6 are 48 we will get a remainder as 0 so that means this 768 is divisible by 8 therefore 1768 is also divisible by 8 so 1768 is divisible by 2, 4 and 8. Hopefully this question is clear to you. Now let's discuss the remaining divisibility rules. And the first is divisibility by 11. This rule says that if the difference between the sum of the digits in the odd places and in the even places is either 0 or divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. See, I have taken one example and the example in the example, I have taken the number 264. Now here, the digits at odd places are this uh, this is this is at the first place this is at the second place and this is at the third place and you know what are odd numbers odd numbers which are not uh, multiples of two and here odd numbers are one and three so the digits in odd places are two and four and the sum of two and four is six and the digit at the even place the digit at the even place is 6. Now what we will do? We will find out their difference and difference means we will subtract them and on subtracting 6 minus 6 what we will get? We will get 0. Therefore 264 is divisible by 11. Hopefully it is clear to you. I have taken one more example. Let's see. In second example, I have taken the number 2815. Now in this, firstly I will mark their places. This 2 is the first digit, 8 is the second digit, 1 is the third digit and 5 is the fourth digit. So the digits in odd places are 2 and 1 and the digits at even places are 8 and 5. Now, the sum of the digits in odd places is equals to 2 plus 1 that is equals to 3 and the sum of the digits in even places is equals to 8 plus 5 is equals to 13 and their difference will be equals to 13 minus 3 which is equals to 10 and this 10 is neither equals to 0 nor is a multiple of 11 therefore it is not divisible by 11 therefore this 2815 is also not divisible by 11 hopefully this example is clear to you next is divisibility by 12 this rule says that if the number is divisible by both 3 and 4, then it is divisible by 12. For example, I have taken the number 120. Now, you know that the divisibility rule of 3 says that the sum of if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then it is divisible by 3. So here I am checking the divisibility rule of 3 firstly. Now I will Find out the sum of the digits of 120 that is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 0 that is equal to 3 which is divisible by 3. Therefore 120 is also divisible by 3. 
Now I will check its divisibility by 4 and you know that divisibility rules of 4 says that when the last two digits of the number are divisible by 4 then the given number is divisible by 4. So here the last two digits of 120 gives me a number 20 which is div divisible by 4. Therefore this 120 is divisible by 4. So from here what we observe we observe that this 120 is divisible by both 3 and 4 therefore 120 is also divisible by 12 hopefully it is clear to you now i have taken one more example and in this example i have taken the number 7319 so firstly i will check its divisibility by 3 and divisibility by 3 by adding the given digits okay so 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 9 will gives me 20 and this 20 is not uh, divisible by 3 therefore this 7319 is not divisible by 3 so here no need to check the divisibility of 4 and so uh, we can say that uh, the 7319 is also not divisible by 12. Hopefully this is clear to you. Now last is divisibility by 15. This rule says that if a number is divisible by both 3 and 5, then it is divisible by 15. I have taken one example and this in this example I have taken the number 282. So first of all we will check its divisibility by 3. You know the divisibility rule of 3 that what we will do? We will firstly find out the sum of the digits. On finding out the sum of the digits, what we will get? We will get 12 as the answer and this 12 is divisible by 3. So this means this 282 is divisible by 3. Now next we will check its divisibility by 5. You know the divisibility rule of 5? It says that when the digit at the ones place is either 0 or 5 then the given number is divisible by 5 but in this number 282 the ones digit is neither 5 nor 0 therefore it is not divisible by 5 so from here what we got we got that this 282 is divisible by 3 but it is not divisible by 5 so 282 is not divisible by 15 hopefully this is clear to you now i have taken one more example and in this example i have taken the number 7545 first of all we will check its divisibility by 3 now for the divis divisibility by 3 we will find out the sum of the digits of 7545 and on adding the digits we will get our sum as 21 and this 21 is divisible by 3 therefore the 7545 is divisible by 3 now next we will check its divisibility by 5 if you will see the ones digit in the given number, then the ones digit is 5. So, the given number is divisible by 5. Now, from here, what you observe? You observe that the 7545 is divisible by both 3 and 5. Therefore, 7545 is divisible by 15. Hopefully, it is clear to you. So, after discussing this, as usual, I am attaching home task in the PDF form in description. For any doubts and queries, you can leave your message in the comment section. I hope you like the video. Thank you.